What's up, folks? I want to tell you the five reasons as to why you should avoid Planet Fitness like the plague today. The Judgment Free Zone, aka. But what is judgment? When it is clearly defined, they do the exact thing that they are discouraging as they keep you in the hamster wheel of obesity living up to their name as Planet Fatness. So please sit back, take some notes, and truly enjoy this countdown. The number five reason is their lies and their stupid signage. I know that sounds judgmental, but I'm being very ironic with seeing how they like to judge people with their lunk alarms, with their signage. Kicking somebody out of a gym because they're wearing a uh, bodybuilder's tank top, carrying around a water jug, grunting, breathing heavy, or fitting the profile that they apparently quote unquote do not accept, that seems very messed up to say the very least. To be a place that you quote unquote don't belong, being a place where they discourage the use of creatine or wearing a head wrap or even just saying that they're open 24 hours and clearly they're not. A place that is discriminating against people making gains and continually saying derogatory things towards that demographic is not only messed up, but it's messed up that somebody would actually support this kind of place that clearly does not want you to advance your gains. And any place that offers free training free training folks you get what you pay for and we'll get into that later and the number four reason as to why you should avoid planet fitness like the plague run for the hills run for your life go somewhere else is the very equipment that they have in their gym the equipment that they have in their gym is not something that you're going to get gains that you're not going to get results from long term. This is not even a starter gym, folks, because when you go into a Planet Fitness, you see mostly, you see mostly cardio equipment. Cardio equipment should not be your full workout. Cardio equipment should not be the sole reason you go into a gym. Cardio equipment should not be something that you look for when you are trying to find a gym. If you're trying to find a gym, find a gym that has a good selection of free weights people that are going to help you figure out the best routine and the best nutrition possible for you if they're just trying to force cardio equipment and all the options down your throat that's not a conducive environment to make progress and to make that big transition in your life because this is one of those places that is trying to get a specific demographic of people and the most kind of people that they want are the people that really don't know and the people that they can just tell a, a couple lies to and they can just go with it you see all the machines and all the cardio equipment in the world in this place and you see just a little bit of free weights a little bit of the things that are actually going to get your body rolling in the right direction this is not a place anybody should be supporting because this is keeping people in a hamster wheel of obesity. As you can see, even making this video, there wasn't anybody on machines. Most of the people were on the cardio equipment. There's just a couple people actually working out and this is what they want. They want to actually keep you from making progress so that you will just keep continually paying them $10 a month even if you go there or not they keep you locked into that contract. Folks, any place that has a set weight limit on how many plates you can put on a machine, a place that only has dumbbells that go up to 75 pounds, a place that does not display circuit training to you in a proper method as they do with their 30 minute circuit workout is not a place that you should go. It's not. And the number three reason as to why you should avoid Planet Fitness like the plague, never walk in those judgmental doors, is the price tag. The price tag of trying it out one time is upwards of $21.30 after tax here in Ohio. That's just madness because they're trying to funnel you into a contract. They try to funnel you in and say, it's only $10 a month, no commitment, join our judgment-free cult 
folks, it doesn't matter if you're on a fixed income, if you're low budget, you get what you pay for. You're gonna have a startup fee, you're gonna have a yearly fee, check your fine print, but you get what you pay for. You can't expect a prime cut of meat at, to be at its top quality and to get it from Walmart. This is a Walmart and below level gym. You get what you pay for, plain and simple. And the number two reason to never enter these dreadful purple and yellow Barney doors. It's not just a gym, it's a quote unquote health club. They're not trying to sell you on the gym aspect, they try to sell you on the amenities, on the tanning beds, on the massage chairs and tables. I went in there and I'm dark skinned and they're still trying to sell me on things that make my skin darker. Does that make any sense? Mind you, a hydro massage might feel great after a long day. But let's just see. You pay for a gym membership and you walk into a gym with a massage table, what are you gonna do? If you're obese and you don't know what to do, you're gonna probably go on that treadmill for about 20, 30 minutes and then you're gonna go get a massage. And apparently you just feel great about your life like you just had this incredible workout and day at the gym when you really didn't do that much. Then you might walk into this total body enhancement chamber which they tell you is gonna tone you and burn fat. This is a bunch of garbage. And folks, talking about garbage, the number one reason to never walk in this stupid place is the food that they offer. Pizza nights, bagel mornings, the buckets and buckets of candy, all the sweet treats that just sit there and wait for you to just, oh, just take one. And you know as well as I do, when you're struggling with obesity, when you're trying to lose weight, having that kind of temptation in front of you is not a thing that should be cultivated in a fitness-like environment. This place doesn't care about you, they only care about your money. They don't care about your results, they only want your money. They don't care about the community and the impact it has on local gyms as they shut down because people can't compete with a $10 a month fee. They just want money. This is not a place you should be supporting. No matter where you are in your fitness journey, this place is a place to boycott. This place is a place to kneel against. These are my top five reasons. If you got a problem with those reasons, even if you agree, comment down below. Like and subscribe. This is Woo Fit.